On this episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, I'm going to be making crab cheese phyllo cups. I love phyllo and it's not hard to work with once you get used to it. So I've learned a couple things since the last time I made them. Let's get to the ingredients. We have phyllo sheets, a quarter cup of butter, so we're going to use five sheets and we'll spread butter, melted butter over each sheet. And then we'll cut them to fit muffin tins, which we will spray with cooking spray. And then we'll bake those for about 10 minutes. We'll pull them out, let them cool. While they're cooking, we'll create the filling. The filling will be three quarters cup of crab, these are lump crab, kind of chopped up. You can use imitation crab if you want. I just got this in my deli section. Then we have here two tablespoons of horseradish sauce. I got that in the deli too. And here we have some chopped green onions and a brick of cream cheese. I think this is the new Chatel. One third less fat. It's softer and we can save on the calories a little bit. And then of course we're gonna sprinkle with paprika. Let's get started with the phyllo. So I'll just set that aside, get out our phyllo. I'm gonna dampen this cloth just to keep the phyllo from drying out. So that should keep it from getting dried out. I'm going to put this in the microwave so we can melt it. So now we'll get out one sheet at a time and butter each sheet. So what I learned is that when you take your butter to better a frame, you know, better the outside inch all the way around and then butter the inside. So let's get at it. Okay, there's sheet one going in for sheet two. Oh, I ripped it. Look at that. Okay, we'll make it work. We'll just lay it on there in two pieces. No need to throw it away. Just make it work. See? That'll be just fine, just like that. Okay, now we'll go in with some butter. Oh, this wiggly movement. That's a good technique. I think. Oh yeah. There we go. And then swipe on over. Really use the butter from the edges. Just kind of use the butter from the edges and bring it on in. Maybe an extra brush across the middle. Okay, there's number two. Let's get number three. <gasps> Ooh, it's very, very delicate. Okay, so that's number four. Now I 
forgot if I if that was number five or number four. So let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll just go in again. I don't remember if that was five or four, but I don't think it's that much of a problem if you have an extra sheet in there. It'll be just extra crunchy. Okay. Okay, that definitely is five minimum. Okay, now we're gonna cut this to fit these. But real quick, I need to spray them down. Okay, cutter. Oh, cutter's over here. All right, let's see here. So we're going to cut about right there. And then about right there and about right there then we'll cut about there 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 and there and then I think this one there okay so oh we gotta finish the cutting I just marked it. Now we got to go on through. Here we go. Okay, so now we'll just take the squares and tuck them into the muffin tin like that. This is going to take a couple minutes, so I will speed this up. Okay, I'm gonna make one more sheet here. I'll try to figure out a way to make three more. So I think I'll cut this into strips. So that would be sheet one. be sheet two there's three four and five so. <gasps> I ripped it okay so the wiggly movement is not going to work on these little strips I guess they might be kind of dried out a little bit. Maybe I'll use this little bit here to repair. Repair that just a bit. There. There we go. Okay, now here's number two. Trying to stretch the butter a little bit. I don't want to use more butter. I only have one more sheet to go. And we're going to make it. All right, now we'll just cut this. I'm just 
going to split this out and add it to some of these. I'll just tuck it in. Some of these were cut a little small, so I'll just kind of add it to some of those smaller ones. We'll see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Uh -oh. One of them has a little hole. Look it. I can repair it with this guy right here. There we go. Perfect. They're about ready to go in the oven. I have it preheated at 375. Here's what they look like before they go into the oven. Into the oven they go. All right. Now let's work on the filling. So we need to put in the cream cheese. cream cheese. It's quite versatile. Seems like a lot of cream cheese though. We'll see how this recipe goes, but I'm kind of thinking maybe half of that would probably be sufficient, but let's find out. So I think I'm going to soften it really quick with this. It's already pretty soft because it's the new Chatel. Now I will put in the green onions and the bowl with it. And then we'll put in the horseradish, which I do like horseradish. So I wasn't really expecting to see that on the menu or on the list of ingredients. So we'll see what that tastes like. And the crab. And we'll mix it up. A little extra horseradish on the spoonula. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So we will set this aside and we'll use this to scoop the filling into the cups. Then we'll sprinkle it and bake it for just a little while longer and have a taste. I know it's going to be good. Mm, smells really good. Now if you don't like horseradish, omit it. I think it will be good without it. And there are probably all kinds of other seasonings you could probably put in there. Anything that goes good with seafood, I think would be really good in here. But um, like I say, that horseradish, I don't know how that's gonna taste, but I'm willing to give it a try. The phyllo cups are ready, so let's get them out of that oven. Mmm, that looks pretty good to me. They seem a bit shallow, but I think they'll be okay once we get the stuffing in. And we want it to be a one biter, so I think it will be just fine. So let's let those cool for about five minutes and then we'll add the filling. Let me show you what they look like up close. Can you see that? There we go. The pastry cups have been cooling for a little bit, so let's go ahead and scoop in the filling. I'm going to see if this scoop is going to be sufficient for a filling. I think it will be perfect. But I want the cupped side in. So I'm going to use my hand to flip it. This will take a little bit, so we'll speed it up.
I think it's going to be a really pretty dish. I'm kind of pressing it in a little bit. You want it to kind of fill the cup. That one's a little flat. Oops, forgot to flip that one. Wow, it looks like we're going to have just barely enough. That's a pretty good recipe as far as quantities. I think I probably could have made one more. Let's see. So I think maybe three quarter brick of cream cheese would have been perfect. One, one brick of cream cheese might be a little too much, but we'll see. Next time I make it, and I think I will make it again, we'll do a three quarter brick. Okay, so now we're going to sprinkle. Sprinkle with paprika. Ooh, that's kind of coming out pretty heavy on a, one of those there. I think I want to make it. Okay, I think that's very good. Not too hot to the touch. There it is before it goes in the oven. in the oven for about 15 minutes or until it's lightly browned on top. So I will clean all this up and then when it comes out, we'll plate it and have a taste fresh mm. out of the oven. How do they look? I can tell you right now they smell delicious. I think they're pretty too. We'll let these cool for a little while, maybe five, 10 minutes, and then we'll plate. They've been cooling for about five, 10 minutes, so I think we're ready to plate. Look at that. Look at the bottom. Oh, it's gonna be crispy and delicious. I can tell right now. So let's get them on the plate. Oh, they're very delicate, very delicate. I don't think I need the spoon. They're not that hot. Oh, they smell really good. I think this is gonna be a keeper. Mmm. Smells really, really good. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yummy. Mm. I love phyllo. Oh my goodness. Okay. What do you think of that? 
I almost lost it. There we go. You think that's pretty? I do, and I think it smells so good. Mmm. You can smell just a light crab, and then that phyllo. Gosh, that really just, the aroma, so good. It smells like a bakery, but then there's that savory element there. These we will taste. Mm. Beautiful. I think it's a beautiful dish. So let's go in for a bite. What do you think of that? Doesn't that look pretty? I think it's going to be more than one bite. I think it's going to be a two bite. So let's check it out. Mmm. Mmm. I can barely taste the horseradish. It's a teeny little bite to it, but it's very light. So if you don't like horseradish, still give it a try because it's just a hint of the horseradish. And there's not all that much taste of onion, the green onion. I think I might put more in next time. But the cream cheese, we had extra filling, so I think I would cut back on the cream cheese a little bit. Otherwise, this is a great recipe. Two bites, though. Mmm. It's just a little greasy. Just a little, though. Not too bad. I think this is a great recipe. It's a keeper. Give it a try yourself and let me know what you think about it. Mmm, so good. I love it. Between now and the next episode of Mahjong Nash and Such, may all your picks be keepers. <laughs>